Welcome to SNN. Today is Thursday, October 21st, 2010. It is a hawk day, which means start periods 2, 4, and 6. It's a late start, so no flex classes today. On this date in 1803, the United States Senate made a purchase. It was a big one, too. We bought some land that doubled the territory of the United States. What was that purchase called? Hint, it's named for a state. The Louisiana Purchase. The United States Senate ratified the treaty with a vote of 24 to 7 on October 20th. On the following day, it authorized President Jefferson to take possession of the territory. And who sold it? Napoleon. You know why he sold it? Needed the cash? Yeah, because they were fighting Great Britain. We sound like History Olympiad. <laughs> yeah, there's no such club. But we have a Science Olympiad, which starts this week. The meeting was scheduled for today, but it actually happening on Friday instead. All Science Olympiad participants plan to meet in room 204 from 2.30 to 3.15-ish. On Friday. Got questions? Talk with Mr. Hunting. It was great meeting Dr. Wang and learning about how he took charge of his dis destiny. His, he, has mag he has math skills that are almost magical. Did you get a pocket protector? Nice. If you want one, he invites all of you to email him through his website. Go to wangeducation.com. Spelled W-A-N-G-E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N.com. And politely request your own. Pizza Hut delivers. So does Bellagio's. Even Safeway will drop off groceries at your doorstep. But our attendance office does not deliver your bus passes. News from the attendance office and the wonderful Mrs. Cruz is, the, is that several bus passes are not picked up at the end of each day. Need a bus pass? No problem. Drop off the note in the morning and pick up your bus pass later in the day. Bus passes are not delivered. Ever. You need to pick it up yourself. Also, Bus 41 is now closed to additional riders. If someone wants to go to D JWR, they may be assigned to a different bus, but they will still get to JWR. Remember the Patriot Pens essay contest? The theme this year is, Does, Does Patriotism, Patriotism Still, still matter? matter? The VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars Patriots Pen Essay Contest. Come on, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Give it a shot and you could win money for college. Deadline is November 1st, 2010. Write 300 to 500 words. Word processed, of course. Pick up one of these in the main office for more specifics. Just give it a try. Want to really pin down wrestling this season? It's open to all grades and practice starts on October 25th. Your forms need to be turned in on... Friday if you want to participate. This is a photo of Mrs. Button. Find her in the main office. She's the one to see about wrestling forms and you'll pay your fees and take care of business so you can have a headlock on the season. Better knock out those forms by Friday if you plan to be involved. You'll need a parent permission, concussion, and a current physical on file in the office. Questions? Talk with Mr. Smith, the sixth grade teacher who is the enforcer. If wrestling isn't your game, how about shooting some hoops? If you are a 6th, 7th, or 8th grade girl interested in playing basketball, the Camas Junior Girls Basketball Association is holding tryouts on October 28th at Liberty Middle School. The program is run by the Camas High School the Camas High School pr basketball pr coach. And it is designed to prepare kids to play at Camas High School. Please pick up this flyer from Mr. Houston. Or Mrs. Geiger for more detailed information. Friday is picture day. Huh? We already had picture day. Some people were absent, and some might just want to try that smile again. Ah, retakes. If you're having a picture retakes, bring your old packet of pictures with you to give the, to the picture people. If you were absent on original picture day, or are new since original picture day, a picture form... A picture order form is available in the main office. Even if you're not ordering pictures. We need your picture for the yearbook. So have your picture taken. Our thought today comes from an African proverb. Do the best you can. Where you are. With what you have. Now. Have a great Thursday. Be safe. Be respectful. And be responsible. This has been John. And Madison. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.